Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today I'm going to speak about the new Apple technology called Thunderbolt. Basically, this is nothing but a, your interconnect like a USB for your uh, Mac. Previously, this technology was known as LightPay and it's made by Intel. Now it's being marketed as Thunderbolt. The good thing about Thunderbolt is that it has a data transfer rate up to 10 GB per second. Uh, compare that to USB 2, USB 2 is just 400, 480 megabits per second. This is 10 GB, that means 10,000 MB. So that's a huge leap. Uh, but do note that this is entirely a new technology. So there's a new port, everything. And I'm pretty sure the peripherals and the uh, Thunderbolt ports that are going to come in the market and devices will take a long time. Uh, let's get back a little uh, to USB 3. This is a technology that is currently uh, available on PCs. Uh, this has been uh, there for a while, but now I'm seeing a lot of devices, USB 3 devices. The good thing about USB 3 is that this has a maximum data transfer rate of about 5 GB. That's quite a lot. That's about 5000 5, megabyte compared to USB 2 that is just 480 megabit. Uh, but the good thing about USB 3 is that it is backward compatible with USB 2 devices. So all your USB 2 devices, I'm sure that you have a lot of USB 2 devices that are going to work with USB 3. But Apple has decided to go with this new technology called Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm not really happy about the same because that means that Apple is not going to incorporate USB 3 in their Macs as of now. The other thing about Thunderbolt is that it can support up to six devices using daisy chain up to six devices. But on the other hand, USB can daisy chain up to, yeah, with, with a USB, you can attach up to 128 devices. Compare that with Thunderbolt, that's just six. It'll be about 2012 when we see PC manufacturers, if any, uh, that are going to incorporate Thunderbolt. That's going to really delay uh, the acceptance of this Thunderbolt technology. Do note uh, that I'm not really uh, pro about Thunderbird because Apple also pushed Farwar uh, basically uh, that supports speeds up to 800 megabits per second. But in reality, Farwar did not uh, capture the market and it's only a niche. Uh, basically, about just about 15 to 10 percent of the audience use the Farwar. Media professionals basically use it because it supports speeds up to 800 megabits per second. I am really worried that Thunderbolt will also go the same way. It's not going to go mainstream. I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, please give a thumbs up or a like. And I'm going to see you in another video. That's it for now.